welcome back to another episode of Best of Besiege. This is a series where we look at some of the best and amazing Besiege creations created by you guys, figure out how they sort of work, and have some fun with them. Anyway, I say this every episode, and it's still true, but somehow, the creations and inventions you guys are coming up with, they just keep getting better. And today we're looking at possibly the craziest thing we've looked at so far, and that is a flying raptor. That's right, this guy, this guy, he's he's a flyer. So his walking, his walking mechanics sort of suffering, but he makes that up. It makes that up with the wings. All right, you ready for this? I think we're ready to take flight. This is this is the coolest thing I've seen because it is it, it flies just like a bird. You have to time the flaps right to get him to take off. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. All right, let's do a little let's do a little turning around job. There we go. Up, oh, we're starting. Well, oh, we're a little nose diving. All right, here we go. We're coming up on them and little knights. Are you ready for this? Oh yeah, my wing, dude. I am just. I am just a monster. So I can't really figure out how to get this thing to take off too far up up off the ground. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's oh no. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Let me get out of here. Oh my goodness. No, oh my goodness. <laughs> Let him out. Let him out. He's had enough. Oh no. <laughs> but the flying animation is just so sweet. Like you actually have to time it and become a good pilot at this thing to know what in the world to do. We can try to do some, there's some pitches and yaws in here, but honestly, I'm just lucky if I can, if I can sort of take this thing off. Oh, look at this, we're doing it. We're doing it, yes, we're flying away. Oh, no, I always lose momentum, and then I'm just like face plowing into the ground. All right, here we go, here's our opportunity, and yes, I'm flying. I'm flying, mom, look at me go. All right, don't lose momentum. No, we're slowly, we're slowly going down. We're slowly going down. I'm really trying not to. Like, I'm honestly doing my best right now. So there is a mod you can actually download with this thing, and what it does is it makes the wing movements automatic. So right now I'm having to spam between three and four to actually get him to flap his wings, which does honestly take a little bit of a skill. Like, you gotta, you gotta get these timings almost exactly right. Oh, look at that boost. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm not good enough with it. I, I'm not sure if you can, but I guess you could possibly fly away. I don't know. I always seem to uh, lose altitude up, oh, especially when we're trying to turn, but I always seem to lose altitude whenever I'm flying this thing. Like I'll just face palm like this and I get up a little bit. Okay, wait, I really want to get on top of this. Uh, not the sucky one, this one. Yes. Oh yes. Here we go. Oh, uh, that wasn't as high as I expected, but still pretty cool. Anyway, that was the magical flying raptor. Let's loop it on this city. Are you ready? They're like farming, they're all happy. And then they just see a raptor coming in. Ah! Look at that. Oh, now we're flaming, we're on fire. Wait, let's take them down. Oh, nope, we're dead, aren't we? Yep. We're just a flying corpse. We're, oh, wait, we're, we're going up to heaven. Here we go, it's magical. Alrighty, so we saw the flying raptor. That was a fun concept, but this thing is by far the coolest and just most easy to use flying machine yet and that is saying a lot because I've seen a lot of different flying machines and the number one thing I have to say about flying machines is they are super hard to pilot a lot of them you know you need a lot of skill and you need to like know how to actually use them this thing you can pick up in like 10 seconds you're a professional I, I clipped a, I lost a little feather there didn't I all right I think we should be good we only lost one feather but this thing's so simple to fly it behaves you know Almost, oh, I lost an, oh, we, we balanced out. We balanced out, I did that on purpose. <laughs> Didn't do that on purpose. But anyway, flying this thing is just so simple. We're gonna, we're gonna try to blow up some stuff here now. We got this. Honestly, I'm not the best pilot, but this thing is just so simple and so easy to die, to like drive it around and do stuff with it. It's so cool, all right, we're gonna hit this. Oh, I missed the, uh, okay, I wanna try to hit, oh, look at us fly. Oh, that is so cool. All right, we're gonna try to go ahead and let's just bomb the uh, we'll bomb the little soldiers here standing by the castle. All right. Oh, that is so smooth. Look at this. Oh, okay. We're going in for the bomb. And nope. <laughs> All right. Let's try this again. We're gonna loop around here and then sort of. Oh, I love how I just love how it feels. All right. We're gonna try to do a loop. Yes. Let's do another loop. But then this time at the top, we're gonna. Yes. We're gonna switch it. All right. Awesome. And then okay. We're ready to we're ready to go in here and drop that bomb little too close but anyway the controls for this thing are absolutely amazing pretty easy to understand 
Uh, but it's it's a difficult thing to pilot, as is every flying machine, but this by far has the coolest control. So the first thing you do is push P, and then actually it's locked in place right now, which is so helpful because that way it starts in air, and like you won't just start without you wanting to. So you can push the P key to actually unstart it, and then you've got your I and K, which can go ahead and pitch the nose up and, up and down. Uh, then you have the rolls with the J and L, and that'll let you roll left and right. And then you can even do the yaws, which is a nice little, you know, turn to the left or turn to the right. And that's cool. But here's the here's my favorite feature. We're going to try to... Oh, gosh. We, I don't want to stall here. All right. So let me go ahead and show you guys possibly the coolest thing about this creation. Ooh, that soup looked nice. Um, and that is the fact that you can actually pull in your wings and do sort of a dive bomb. Okay, so... Let's get some, let's get some altitude here. I'm trying my best here, guys. All right, here we go. And we'll, we'll head upwards a little bit. Now you can push the N key, suck in your wings, and then sort of do a dive bomb. And that'll like get you some momentum. I'm not the best at it, I apologize. But oh my gosh, look how fast we're going. We're speed demon, we're speed demon. All right, did I throw my bomb? I threw my bomb somewhere. Um, another thing is, now that I threw my bomb, uh, I have little grabbers down there, and you can actually go ahead and s try to scoop up, scoop up a little soldier. No way we're going to be able to, own. Oh, oh my goodness, that was impressive. Alright, but uh, let's try, I guess we'll try it. Alright, let's go ahead, see if we can scoop up one of these soldiers. Alright, alright, where are we at? Where are we at? And, okay, here's a soldier. Come on, come on. No, dude, I, that is not even going to happen. All right, before we do that, let's try to do some basic tricks, all right? So we're gonna go for the loop. Um, oh my gosh, okay, loop it up. Don't loop it up, we're looping it up. Didn't loop it up at all. All right, you know what? Let's go for the loop right off the bat. So we'll go ahead, suck in our wings, dive bomb it, extend those wings, and oh! Come on, baby, we got this! Oh no, we were so close. Honestly, my favorite part about this thing oh look at that that was so smooth right there but my favorite part about this thing is just flying around like it's just so easy to fly it around because it's not actually using any of the propellers in besiege instead it's using some other methods to sort of fly around and gain momentum and stuff like that oh did you see that flip around dude oh that looks so nice they're like the controls for this thing are absolutely amazing if, if you guys were going to go and try any of these creations, I would highly recommend this one. It is so fun to mess around. Did I actually bomb something there? I can't really tell. But it's just so fun to mess around with, and it looks so nice. Um, that honestly, the amount of tricks you could do with this thing are absolutely ridiculous. Like, I can imagine somebody getting really good doing a freaking barrel roll like that, going underneath that, still flying. That was almost really cool! How did I do that? All right, I've been inspired now. I have been inspired now. We're gonna do a barrel roll, open up. Look at that! Oh, that looks so... That was so nice. That was so nice. Yo, I got this again. I got this again. Mm -hmm. Come on. No! Oh, I, I choked it up. All right, I don't even think it's possible, guys, but I have been inspired to do a double barrel roll. Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, that was amazing. I am... I am a god. How did I do that? Now we just have to master a loop-de-loop. -loop. Let's do it. This is the time. If, the, if any of the time... This is the time. No! <laughs> we were so close. We were inches off of the ground. I wanted to land so bad. Alrighty, so up next we have Besiege's first true roller coaster. The other ones before this were false roller coasters. So this is the first true roller coaster. And oh my goodness, look how crazy it is. Look at that drop. That is a 90 degree death drop. That is insane. Oh my goodness. Okay, anyway, we're gonna be, we got cart number one, two, and three here. I think we're ready to do this. The first thing we have to do is go ahead Prime the coaster up, all right. I think the coaster is primed and we're ready for launch. Okay, here we go. Should I should I add in uh, roller coaster sound effects? <laughs> all right, we're going up and oh my goodness, put your hands up, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're are we crossing the top? Where are we at? Okay, here we go. Oh, we're going down. We're going straight. We're going. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Look at us go! This is insane! Oh, are we upside down right now? Are- I don't even know! What is going on? 
Okay, we're heading up. We're heading up. There's a little bit of a break. This is crazy, dude. This is, oh no, we're like sideways. Holy crap. Look at us. Look at us. Look at this. We're on an actual roller coaster. I'm waiting for, uh, for a little camera where we got to smile and it'll snap our picture. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, we should prime it real quick. Oh, I forgot to prime it. Oh. Don't sue us. Don't sue. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Where's it going? Oh, come back. All right. I want to watch it go one more time, but this time we're going to watch it in third person so that way we can actually see what's going on here. Look at how crazy this thing is, dude. Holy crap. Holy, that is impressive. All right. We're going to try. Let's see if I can make it. All right. We're going to make it stop here at the top. Come on. There we go. Up. Oh, Up. Oh, there we go. Okay. We're right at the top. Look at that. Let's see. Look at this view. Oh my goodness, that is terrifying. And we got all three carts here too, so that's kind of cool. I guess we could watch the uh, the front carts. All right, let's view it from the here, and we're off. Da -da -da -da. Oh my goodness, look at how fast it's going. Look at how fast it's going. Oh, it lost a lot of its speed, but these bumps and turns, like that is just crazy impressive, dude. Oh my goodness. I am honestly a little bit disappointed that there's no loop-de-loop. -loop. Like... I think if this is this is the first true roller coaster, and technically to be a true roller coaster, you do have to have at least one loop de loop. However, I think these crazy corkscrews make up for it. Like, I don't even know if this would be possible in real life to just have all of these like upside down bits. Look how crazy the track looks. And finally for today's episode, we have the hoverboard. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh, we're from the future. We already got a hoverboard. Okay, anyway, we're gonna go ahead, ignite the engines. We will be off on our merry way. Oh, plowing through houses. So this thing's pretty cool. I like the fact that it's a lot like a, um, it reminds me of, I don't know why, but it reminds me of a snowboard and a skateboard if you were to combine the two. Now, oh, look at us go. And spin it back, land it, come on, land it. Didn't really land it. We're just taking off at this point. We're on, we're on a rocket, rocket shoes. But this thing reminds me of a snowboard and a skateboard combined. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. That was amazing. I don't understand why it just takes off like that. Uh-oh. We can do a bunch of cool tricks in the air. We can also sort of jump with it. But I just, I don't know how to go back on the ground. And this seems like a very serious issue. Especially if I was this sad little soul on this on the flying board. I do not want to just be, okay, here we go. Wait, we're going. And we got to land it. We got to land it. Oh, this would be the coolest trick. This is the best combo. Come on, I gotta get my combo. Let me go d I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This is one of- Oh, I'm, I'm sort of doing it. Oh, I'm doing that on- Look at that. Look how- Oh, I detached. My legs popped off again. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This is honestly one of the hardest to control things yet. Like, this thing is crazy slippy slidey. I feel like I'm riding a skateboard on like super ice where you're just flying around and you also have a rocket attached to the back of your skateboard by the way. So that's what I'm feeling like right now. All right, but let's try to do some sort of trick because you can actually do a little bit of a jump with this guy and you can sort of take that jump and combine it with um, some of the other controls. Uh-oh, no, that's not one of the controls. All right, here we go. We're going to try to go up this mountain and jump it. Oh, we jumped it. We jumped the gap. We jumped the gap. We're going this way. Oh yes, that looked actually, I did that on purpose. Totally, what are you talking about? I swear, it's impossible to make it up this hill. Okay, we did it. Oh, that was awesome. And, oh, we did it. Oh, that was sweet. And now we're just gonna blast off. Let's do some, let's do some victory spins. That took me a lot of tries. All right, what usually happens is this thing's super sensitive to go on. And so you sort of just, oh, land it. Oh, yes. Oh, dang, I hate when this happens. Oh, wait, we fixed it, we fixed it. And lost lost a little bit of my hip bone, but that's all good. That's all good in the hood. There we go. So anyway, that is about it for today's episode. I hope I just took off like I was wearing a jetpack there. Did you see that? But that is about it for today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed. I definitely had fun. I always look forward to these besie. Oh, dude, why did I pop in half? I did like a front flip there. That was amazing. Okay, up. Oh, yes. Yes, front flip. Oh my gosh, front flip. Yes. All right, wait, uh, the back flip. Why am I saying front flip? All right, I want to do a front flip now. I don't know if a front flip is going to be possible with rockets on the back, but back flip definitely. Oh, look how cool that looks. 
That looks sweet. All right, should we try a 360 now? Boom, 360. Took off my head. That seemed painful. And that, that also seemed painful. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. There should be download links to all the different creations that we played with today in the description below. So be sure to go ahead, check that out. And while you're at it, check out some of the other best of Besiege episodes. Look how fast we're going. Oh, we're super fast. Holy crap. We are like, we are a speed demon. But thank you all so much for watching. My name is Crew, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode of Best of Besiege. Adios.